step one of giving a cow mastitis treatment is going to be to milk her out completely. You want to get out every last drop. Step two is going to be to wash her again with warm soapy water and clean rags. Then using a good teat dip, in this case we're using a 0.5% iodine teat dip, we're going to dip each teat. After letting the teat dip sit for a minute, we're going to use the alcohol pads provided in the package to clean each teat, especially the orifice, in order to prevent introducing bacteria into each teat. It's now important to ensure that you're using the right treatment. In this case, we're using tomorrow treatment in order to prevent mastitis during dry off period. Not to be confused with today treatment, which is used to treat a current mastitis infection. Gently place the tip of the applicator inside the teat orifice and make sure to administer the entire tube. Remember, it's just one tube per teat. Then gently massage the medicine up into the quarter. They have a sphincter up here, and then clearly a sphincter at the bottom. So the sphincter up here um, creates a chamber here called the teat cistern, is what holds, what holds the milk in the teat. So we wanna make sure this is going into that teat cistern. So we wanna make sure that this is empty. Um, oh, so. I'm just going to put it into the teat orifice. It's not a needle. It doesn't hurt. It's probably a little cold. Now I'm just going to, I'm going to pinch the end so I can work it up into the cord a little bit since I squirted it out of the last one. And I'm just massaging it. If you've ever seen a calf nurse, they are so rough. So none of this hurts her. After finishing each teat, it's a good idea to dip it again, one, to make sure you know which teats you've done, and also to make sure each teat is thoroughly disinfected. Mastitis treatment and prevention is an important part of caring for cattle, whether it's one or a hundred. If this video was helpful to you, please like, comment, and subscribe to see more.